This is a video and an explanation of emerald ash borer feeding. Here is an emerald ash borer larva that was revealed after stripping bark of an infested ash tree. Note the trail of frass or fecal material. The feeding behavior is seen here in this larva, which is a late fourth instar. And you can see the characteristic bend that the larvae often take while feeding. This is a scanning electron micrograph of the mouth parts that you see in action here in the feeding individual. These mouth parts are predominated by the dark, highly sclerotized and very strong mandibles. You can see the other mouth parts, parts such as the labrum, the upper lip, and all of the feeding organs. This still shows where the woody phloem tissue is that the insect targets, plus the orts or morsels that it has bitten from that woody phloem material. Note that the mandibular muscles are very prominent here, as are the trach tracheoles coming from the spiracles. You'll see that throughout this video. And the importance here is that the very strong muscles require a great deal of gas exchange, oxygen delivery, and CO2 removal. Note that the body of the emerald ash borer larva is very transparent, making it very convenient for us to study the digestive system, which is totally clear. You can see particles being swallowed here, and you can also see in that greenish material that seems to be moving back and forth in the esophagus, you can see that there is a swallowing of fluid indicating extra oral digestion. In fact, this video is to our knowledge a documentation for the first time that emerald ash borer, among other chewing phytophagous insects, use extra oral digestion. See the juices that are sort of greenish colored being swallowed here and see the peristalsis. You can also see the movements of the spiracles and the muscles that are attached to the body wall. Note the whitish structures in the upper part of the video. Those whitish structures are part of this process of extra oral digestion where the EAB larva takes bites of the flow of material, which is very filamentous or elongated cellulose structures. You can see here the bites or mouth parts outlined, and you can also see the outline of the esophagus, which we colored green to make it more visible. Again, here is the act of biting, chewing. You can also see, if you regard the mouth parts carefully, you can see the activities of labial palps, maxillary palps, which are sensory structures and they're helping the insect to make decisions about whether or not the food material is appropriate to be ingested. One characteristic of the feeding is the kind, kind of ringing that you see where the mouth parts are grasping 
the bitten off pieces, the orts or morsels of food, and then the mouth parts ring the material while also injecting back and forth doing a sort of a scrubbing of the material with oral secretions. The oral secretions come from the gut and part of the paper that we are writing about this process describes that set of digestive enzymes, proteases, amylases, polyphenol oxidases, various other enzymes that are associated with processing the food outside of the body, which is what we mean when we're saying the expression extra oral digestion or EOD. Notice that in many cases, the larva bites at the orts and then seems to reject them. Again, here's another reminder of the parts of the system that we're asking you to pay attention to. At the caudal region, at the other end, where the frass production takes place, this rather remarkable structure, which uh, terminates with the urogomphy paired caudal structures, which after the electron microscope shows just how they are structured, you can see the hindgut here, the rectum, the actions, the muscular actions taking place in that hindgut. And you can also see how the insect uses those paired caudal urogomphy to manipulate the frass pellets. So that trail that you saw in the beginning of this whole video, that very long trail in the woody flow of material, which is, that trail is typical of emerald ash borer uh, feeding and um, fecal deposition dynamics. Here you, again, you can see that the, the rectum, hindgut all moving and producing that frass pellet, which those urogomphi are inserting into that um, conglomeration of other food particles. This is a still showing those food particles in that situation. By the way, this feeding was done with, ex with um, artificial diet, so the Fecal pellets look a little different. That's the end of the film. And this was work that was done in Alan Cohen's laboratory, supported by